Hello and welcome to another LSpec quick tip video. And continuing into our energy module billing exploration, we have assigned our substation G5 to utility A. The billing cycle we've been creating the tariffs in the past uh, three videos. So now we go to our energy tab and we select our substation. We've got it set up for this month. We can change all you know, this query rates and everything. And now we have all sorts of data we can look at. Um, now you got to understand we're looking at devices that are in test labs and everything. So and we're using really weird numbers just to make stuff show up right now. But it gives you a general idea of how to set up and create your system. Um, so we've got our first one here. We've got consumption. We've got our peak demand, we have power factor, we have our cost based on all of this per measurement point. Um, we can do per charge if we want to. We can do per tariff. And per shift. So we could see how much everything is costing, what we're using, our peak demand based on what we select here. Uh, comparison by time of day, uh, we can look at consumption and cost, real-time consumption, active energy in, active energy out, reactive in, reactive out, apparent. Uh, so we have all this different uh, currents, demand, peak demand. Um, we have all these different values that we can look at, explore, based on what we have done. Okay. So this is basically an overview and you know I've got another one set up over here on this one that I put a little bit more tariffs and charges into so things come out looking a little bit more realistic. Um, like I said this was just in no no means or manner to make you an expert on tariffs or to convey how that's set up. It just gives you the tools necessary to take the information from your utility company and plug it into the features in the billing cycle. All right. Thank you for watching. Be sure to follow and subscribe to us on YouTube. Connect with us on LinkedIn. And like us on Facebook. Have a great day.